Welcome back to my channel. This is Ayushri Archery. So in this video, we will start our module number nine, Cloud Ar Architecture, and you are watching the series of uh, AWS Academy Cloud Foundation course. Before proceeding, it is necessary to understand module overview. This uh, uh, particular module consists of all the topics. Like first, we will discuss AWS Well Architected Framework. Then reliability and high availability. Then we will discuss AWS Trusted Advisor. After understand, uh, after proper understanding of uh, following topics, we will. Uh, you have uh, two activities. One is for design, uh, design framework, and another is for uh, uh, interpret AWS Trusted Advisor. After completing both things, there is a Q uh, KC consisting of a uh, ten questions. You need to complete that questions, uh, and you will get uh, your scorecard. Then you can switch to another. So before proceeding, it is very important to understand model objective. So after completion of uh, this particular module number nine, you are capable of uh, understanding and this. You can describe uh, various pillars of uh, AWS framework, right? AWS work on uh, uh, specific uh, pillars, most important pillars, and in this module we will discuss all the pillars in a detail, right? You are available. Uh, you are capable of uh, identifying basic principles uh, of AWS architecting framework. What we need to design or identify. AWS framework, right? Um, you are familiar with importance of uh, reliability as well as uh, high availability. You can identify and interpret AWS Trusted Advisor. Now it's section number one of a cloud architecture of cloud foundation course that is all about AWS Well Architecture Framework. It's a uh, uh, architecture of a uh, uh, architecture. Consists of architecture for designing and building. Here we have a structured design, and this is a completed structure, right? It is consist of a, if you want to design any archi architecture, you need some uh, basic the uh, basic team members. Like for decision uh, for decision making, you need a customer according to their needs. You will design your architecture. You need architect. For design your architecture, as well as for building purpose, you need a building team, uh, uh, and building crew is uh, crew is responsible for uh, content delivery. So it's a uh, diagram of a uh, ar sorry, it's a architecture of AWS. Now, what is AWS Well Architecture Framework? Why we need uh, this particular framework? So basically, this particular uh, uh, architecture uh, consists of proper guidance uh, for providing security, high performance, resilient efficiency to your framework. Right? It provides a consistent approach to evaluate as well as implement a cloud-based architecture. With the help of that, you get a proper uh, Best practices for develop your uh, architecture according to your customer need. So here we have six uh, pillars of uh, AWS Well Architecture. One is operational excellence, another is security, reliability, performance, efficiency, cost of optimization, as well as sustainability. It is it's a simple meaning is that if you want to develop or uh, develop any AWS architecture, so the customers require customer expect following things. In their architecture, so as a developer, you need to give for you need to create such architecture which follows all the uh, uh, pillars of cloud, not a cloud. Now understand the pillar organization. We categorize all the things in a four-part best practice area. Then the context, uh, then a question, then co question context, as well as their best practice. So first, you need to identify and access a management. For that, you uh, need to uh, 
find out uh, you uh, you need to find out how you manage credential and authentication for managing uh, credential and authentications it is simple meaning is that it includes all the things like a password uh, tokens keys or whatever we require for accessing a particular load uh, you need to protect your uh, uh, important credential with the help of a risk accessibility and malicious use it's a simple meaning is that uh, in identity identity and access management you get all the things which is required for providing security to your credential your uh, confidential credential like your passwords tokens keys etc as well as you need some protect uh, protecting credential for protecting your uh, all the things from a malicious use right so for that you need to do following things you uh, need to to define properly requirement of identity and access management you need to secure your aws card account root user you need to enforce use of a multi factor authentication you need to automate enforcement of access control you need to integrate with a central federation provider you need to enforce whatever the requirement of a password you need to rotate your credential regularly you need to audit credential period of periodically here we have introduction of aws architecture uh, framework the de principal design so we design aws uh, well architecture consisting of uh, all six pillars uh, like operational excellence security reliability performance efficiency cost optimization now for uh, for any company background you need to know following things like uh, who found uh, who, who is the founder of a company in which year it was uh, found uh, it founded their sales criteria how you do uh, investment in that particular uh, company and this all things are uh, for the purpose of a uh, review the platform with uh, platform which you want to implement on a cloud so for uh, this purpose you need this type of uh, flow chart like uh, consisting of a show cell and uh, it is connected to fly and snap in this uh, uh, you user will send a request and according to that uh, pro in this part image acquisition pre processing and storage is a uh, possible after that uh, uh, if a promotion selling a work uh, as a selling is possible then you can make uh, and ship whatever product you want to deliver for and uh, in this part making and ship a uh, part all the manufacturing of a product and delivery is uh, possible and you can uh, track your records from this part so by using this all architect uh, all flow chart you can perform your task here you have uh, architecture how you launch your all the things on a cloud consisting of uh, all the things right here we have aws cloud here we have a um, availability zone consist of a security group you need to access the security group with the imaginary database as well as imaginary assist and services and you need to connect this uh, security group with the uh, ingest machines as well as uh, um, all the things like uh, you need to capture or uh, your products you need a uh, detachable storage array as well as tap storage so all the things are uh, using for uh, complete for the purpose of completing fly and snap part and this is our whole thing this availability zone is for show and sell and this is uh, uh, part is for a make and ship so it's a show and sell part is with because of a that reason security group website is connected with website assets mapping service dispatch services orders services and it's a final uh, part means here the, your product will uh, will reach to customer so in this part all the things connected uh, for a final review like a preview video a customer can upload uh, preview video print queue 3d models uh, are uh, possible and many things so with the help of uh, this uh, screenshot you can implement architecture also
This one is another architecture which represent a show and sell. Another architecture for a make and share. So basically, this screenshot is useful for uh, for the implementation of a lab to exercise, right? Now there is a activity overview. So for creating that thing, you need to understand the this thing in a detail. So, so in the first part, you need to break all the thing in a small group. After that, you need to understand all the six pillars of a uh, AWS, right? And uh, each uh, uh, architecture is consisting of a six pillars, and you need to connect that uh, AWS framework with your group. You can use the that uh, uh, framework for guiding review of any company architecture for every well architecture you need, need to um, answer some for questions and like what is the current state of uh, your company for which you want to implement AWS architecture and what is the future uh, state of uh, that particular should, uh, company should be going should be doing you are agreed uh, agreed on the top uh, improvement uh, of any company as well as uh, whatever you want to design is a right or wrong you need to answer yourself before implementing any AWS framework now understand the operational pillars one by one so here we have a operational excellence pillar its responsibility is to deliver business value and if, uh, if you want to uh, understand this uh, in a detail basically it provides a run and monitoring system for delivering a business value and for continuation continuing uh, support of a process as well as a procedure in this uh, some topics are covered so like uh, automatic changing respond to events as well as the uh, defining standards of, uh, of um, many operation right so it's operational pillars by a name we understand if it's a operational pillar pillar so it's a whole task is to understand or not understand implement all the activities released uh, relevant to operations right now uh, <clears throat> it performs uh, operation in the form of a code it uh, make a frequent and a small reversible changes it refines all the operation uh, uh, procedure frequently anticipate failures learn from all operational events as well as a fail -off. after completion of uh, all the things you need to prepare yourself for this question uh, question and uh, you will perform this then there is a uh, activity you need to perform this activity on your uh, cloud lab now understand security pillar so it's another pillar of uh, aws uh, framework its uh, main purpose is to protect and monitor system right for uh, this purpose here uh, um, you need to provide confidentiality to your architecture if you want to give up uh, security then you need to give confidential protection uh, to uh, your data and for protection you need to pro you need to provide confidentiality as well as integrity to your data you need to identify and managing what to do or what to what not to do right you need to protect your system you need to establish control to particular security events right uh, right so basically security uh, pillar is useful for protect information system assessed while delivering business through risk ass uh, assessment as well as mitigation it implements a strong entity foundation it en enables traceability it is applied it, it applied on all the security all the layers of a security with the help of that automated security best practices uh, possible it protect the data in a transit uh, transit keep people away from the data it prepared security after completing this you need to uh, give answer of a particular questions then there is a secu security activity breakout you need to perform this also for both things show and sell make and share
then this reliability pillar. Reliability uh, pillar is useful for recovery as well as mitigation. Whatever will be the failure, you need to recover your data, right? And you need to mitigate all the disruption. For that, you need uh, our third pillar that is a reliability its a purpose it's a it basically focus on uh, ensure a workload performance and you need a proper functionality and uh, functionality of a data as well as you need a consistent data so in this uh, this particular pillar uh, pillar main quality is to design distributed system recovery planning as well as handling change this particular uh, propeller is responsible for automation automatically recovery of uh, recovery from pillars it is uh, useful for uh, testing of a recovery process uh, scale horizontal to increase aggregate workload availability it is stop guessing capacity as well as many changes change in auto after completing all the things before uh, designing architecture you need to give answer of uh, following questions then there is an activity you need to perform this activity on your lab then after the uh, pillar is efficiency so the efficiency pillar uh, main task is uh, to provide resource sprinkly and for that uh, this pillar use it and computing resources for providing uh, uh, efficient efficient data according to the need of a customer and if you want to provide proper resources and you if you want to give provide the proper resources as well as you want to maintain uh, changes and the technology involvement you need this particular pillar and this particular pillar completed a uh, mainly focus on the following things like you can select right resources type it's a size and this requirement is totally based on a workload requirement you can monitor performance you can uh, making information decision to maintain efficiency in prop uh, as a business involvement then we have this with the help of this pillar you can uh, demonstrate advanced technology you can go global in minutes you can use a server uh, serverless architecture you can experiment more often uh, often as well as consider mechanical syntax after this you need to perform this questions then there is a lab and uh, pillar is a cost optimization so cost of optimization is specifically used for the, for the purpose of eliminating unneeded expenses means whatever we do we do uh, we don't need extra expenses this uh, cost optimization pillars ha uh, help us to eliminate unneeded expenses it mainly focus on unnecessary cost and main features are uh, and, uh, uh, and the key points of this uh, pillar are following basically it uh, uh, in this part this pillar understand and control where money is being sent select appropriate and right number of resource types analyze spend over a time scaling to meeting uh, business need without over spend with the help of this pillar you can implement a cloud financial management you can adopt a consumption model you can measure overall of efficiency you can stop spending money on undifferentiated heavy lifting you can analyze and attribute expenditure after completion of a cost optimization you need to give answers of above question following questions then again we have the third activity you need to perform all this on a but uh, not a virtual lab aws cloud then we and uh, now it's time to understand aws valk architecture tool basically uh, this uh, this tool uh, helps you to review state of your workload as well as you can compare um, uh, compare other latest aws architectures tool with the help of it basically it gives you a knowledge as well as best practices by aws architecture whenever you need it you can deliver an action plan with step uh, by step guidance 
on how to build a better workload for the cloud. It provides a consistent uh, process for you to review and measure your cloud architecture. Basically, we uh, AWS uh, architecture framework provides a consistent approach to evaluate our cloud architecture as well as a guidance to implement a design. Uh, this particular document is a set of uh, design principle as well as best practices. With the help of that, you can enable uh, and you can enable to understand whatever you want uh, your system uh, want. Uh, practices to implement on a cloud basically uh, this particular architecture consists of a six pillars and we discussed all six pillars in this section no about reliability and availability so before understand uh, we can uh, we will understand this everything stays all the time given a statement by Werner Vogels, the CTO of Amazon.com. Now, what is reliability? So here we have a system consisting of a system components. Like uh, if we are talking about a car, then car have a following system components like a cooling system, brakes, ignition, etc. So reliability basically is a measure of your system ability to provide functionality whatever is the, the requirement of a user this system includes all the things like hardware framework software right probability is the uh, that thing which required your function uh, system functionality as a, uh, uh, in a particular period particular specified period here we use mtbf mtabf stands for mean time between a failures it will basically calculated number of a times your system fail or your services fail right now understand reliability matrices so it's a diagrammatical representation of a, a reliability matrices you can calculate with the help of this formula that is mtbf equals to mtt plus mttr whereas mttr stands for mean time to repair and mttf is used for mean time to failure and we use mtbf that is the mean time between a failures with the help of this matrices you can calculate a failure of failure of a service what is availability so availability is a normal operation time or a total of time it required a percentage uh, of up up time for example if you want to calculate number of nine a, uh, nine a's it's a simple means if we use a five nine a's it's a simple meaning is it is in the form of nine nine point nine 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 percent availability if here we use 11 s that means 11.11111 up to uh, number of counts availability right so availability means is that now it provides a high availability with the help of that you can um, uh, measure degradation also and in spite of degradation, your data is available. Downtime minimize hoga and your whatever the human integration, it will be very minimal. You can calculate this or you can minimize that human intervention. Here we have availability tires. So this is the table. You can easily understand availability tires by following things. There are some factors which is factors that influence availability like a fault tolerance, scalability and a recoverability. Fault tolerance is simple meaning is that it's a built-in redundancy of any application components and its ability to remain operational. Right? Scalability simple meaning is that it the ability of an application to accommodate increases in capacity needs without changing design recovery simple meaning is that the process policies and the procedure that are related uh, to restoring services after catastrophic events now it's time for uh, section 2 key takeaway reliability basically is a measure of your system ability to provide functionality whenever user want 
we discuss all the things like uh, uh, reliability, availability, as well as we discuss uh, their the availability, three factors of fault tolerance, scalability, as well as a recoverability. By understanding uh, all the things, after understanding of a section number two, you are capable of, uh, you will be capable of uh, designing your workload and application to be highly available. There is a no cost trade off to consider. That is all about AWS best, uh, Trusted Advisor. So here we have example of this. Basically, this is an online tool that provides a real time guidance, and this real time guidance uh, will help you providing your resources, like uh, uh, resources, and that resources following AWS best practices. Here we, you need to look AWS environment and uh, this AWS environment gives you real-time recommendation in uh, five categories like uh, cost optimization, performance, security, fault tolerance, so your service limit as well as uh, potential monthly savings. Now we have uh, uh, one activity which is based on uh, AWS Trusted Advisor. We have a second uh, activity you need to perform that but before proceeding you will read this uh, alert criteria. Second uh, um, activity is for providing IAM password policy and uh, for uh, password policy here we have uh, alert criteria y your, uh, you need to uh, enable your password policy, but at least one content is required in that which is not uh, enabled. We have a three third uh, policy that is, is for uh, security group. You need to unrestrict access, uh, and uh, this is useful for uh, 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 protect your architecture from malicious activities like hacking, DOS attack, as well as a loss of uh, data. Then you need to perform Amazon EBS um, snapshot. Then you need to connect that thing with Amazon S3 bucket. It's uh, for a section 3 take uh, away. Basically, in this section, we understand. Uh, about online tool and did, uh, this online tool is known as AWS Trusted Advisor that to provide so basically a real-time guidance to help you provision your resource by following best practices right AWS uh, uh, Trusted Advisor look at your entire AWS environment and uh, provide uh, and gives you recommended five categories you use this particular AWS uh, Trusted Advisor to help and optimize AWS environment as soon as you start implement your architecture design. Now it's time for module wrap up. So after understanding uh, this, uh, after completion of uh, this particular module, you are uh, you will be capable of uh, designing a proper AWS well architected framework uh, in which you will include six pillar. You will include six pillars means simple. Uh, at the time of designing AWS well uh, framework, you need to follow all the six pillar pillars principle, right? You are capable of uh, identifying a design principle of AWS uh, uh, architecture. You are capable of understanding the importance of a reliability as well as high availability. You can identify and interpret AWS trusted advisor. That's all. If uh, this content is valuable for you, then click on like, share and subscribe. Thank you.